I'm Dr. Johannes Vesoli. Welcome to my Miss Kavan Masterclass. I started as an anesthetist and ICU doctor. I did my specialization in the University Clinic of Tübingen. And during that time already, I had an ulcerous colitis. I was treated with uh, normal treatments like immune suppressing treatments. And I was told I had to do that for the rest of my life. And in the beginning, I accepted that. And unfortunately for 30 years, after that, I found out that I just had a food intolerance and I was suffering from a food intolerance and nothing else. And when I did a diet, after six weeks, I lost all my symptoms and I lost all my whole disease. And then I was thinking there must be many other people with the same problem and I found them. And that is why I'm doing what I'm doing now. Because the problem with our medicine is that we don't look for the reasons, we treat symptoms. And that made my thinking completely different. We have a different environment. We have more threats by radiation like our cell phones. It's not nothing. We have more pollution. Fish used to be the healthiest food we could have. And now plastic, which we are not built for. And if you don't do anything about that, we will have 100% cancer sometime. I don't like the word cancer patient. I like the word patient who have cancer. My approach to cancer is like in functional medicine. What can we do for the patients? And that means psychology, that means nutrition, that means lifestyle. And to support them psychologically also means as a doctor, you don't go to a patient with cancer and tell him you're dead after six months if you don't do what I tell you. And that is the approach in the classical oncology. Make a staging and then uh, give a guideline and that's it. That's exactly what we are not wanting. We want a tailor-made therapy for this patient and see what can influence the cancer not to grow anymore. And that is what we have to achieve. And then at the same time, you have to strengthen the immune system. The killer cells, for example, and the T cells, these are our main weapons against cancer cells. And then in the end, we even can use the killer cell of a different person to treat our patients if they don't have enough of these killer cells. So that is one of the main principles. But at the same time, you have to keep the patient happy. And then we take care of the nutrition. For example, many of the cancer cells don't consume fat or proteins, only sugar. So we have to guide the patients through their disease and we are responsible that he's feeling fine. Even if the cancer is already progressed, these patients have a right to live a decent life and we have to add the quality of life for them, even if we cannot heal them. So I think that is a completely different approach. And I hope that many patients who are freshly diagnosed with cancer have the courage to take a different way to be healed. And we can deliver that. 